Kim Jong-il's leadership of Korea. Mount Baekdu, the mountain that shines with the history of the Korean Revolution, tells the great history of the leadership of Korea by Kim Jong-il, chairman of the National Defense Commission of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea and supreme commander of the Korean People's Army. Inheriting the qualities of President Kim Il-sung, a peerless hero of Korea, and Kim Jong-suk, a woman hero of the anti-Japanese revolution, Kim Jong-il has led the Korean revolution for several decades. Mount Yongnam in Pyongyang tells his university days. On the first day of his study at Kim Il-sung University in 1960, he made a determination to add glory to his motherland, Korea. The ideological and theoretical works he wrote in his university days through tireless meditation and exploration constitute treasure house in the Korean Revolution and construction. In the mid-1960s, when the situation in Korea and the world was complicated, Kim Jong-il started working at the Central Committee of the Workers' Party of Korea, the general staff of the Korean Revolution. In order to consummate a revolutionary cause of President Kim Il-sung, he led the overall work of the party, state and military as President Kim Il-sung intended. Whenever the U.S. imperialists resorted to high-handedness with regard to Korea, he put them to shame, displaying the wisdom and metal of an iron-willed commander. Realizing President Kim Il-sung's plan and intention in all rhythms was Kim Jong-il's firm and shakable determination. Kim Jong-il indicated a road of building Juche-based art and literature and gave energetic guidance to this sector. Having pinpointed cinema as the main link in the whole chain of art and literature, he visited the film studios many times, giving guidance to each process of creative work, screenplay writing to start with. He once sent a letter to a film director in which he wrote his opinion on creating a film.
Visiting the filming hall, he taught the cameraman and actors how to shoot and act and left the studio at midnight. The theory of the germ for an idea and the policy of speed campaign put forward by Kim Jong-il proved the secret of the successive production of excellent films and the propelling force of the cinematic revolution. Having opened a breakthrough in developing art and literature through the revolution in the cinema, he kindled the fire of a revolution of the opera. He set as the basic tasks of the opera revolution the stanjay composition of the songs, main means of the portrayal in opera, and the introduction of Pang Chang and dance and three-dimensional revolving stage. Staying up all night with creative workers and artists, the guys writing the lyrics of songs and setting them to music. Greeting the dawn of a new day in the theater, he says, we have devoted a whole night to creative work. You might feel tired, but it was worthwhile, wasn't it? For the creation of masterpieces, he works even at night in his office. Every scene of the revolutionary operas was the fruit of his outstanding wisdom and deep exploration. With inborn artistic ability and unquenchable passion, he led the portrayal of all elements of opera and guided a rendition of the main character's songs far into the night. He even taught the creative workers the ways for making operas perfect from the costume and hand props of the characters to the truthful rendition. The birth of the Sea of Blood type revolutionary operas was the fruit of leadership of Kim Jong-il, who selected songs among thousands with pearl hunting care and made them masterpieces. The successful revolution in the cinema and opera convinced the creative workers and artists that Kim Jong-il is a genius of art, a musical virtuoso, and a master of creation. Mm -hmm.